Yo, what's up, school fans, and welcome back to the vlog. And this is the biggest game this weekend. Of course, kita akan ngeliput terus antara Prawira Harum Bandung melawan Satria Muda Pertamina. A lot of good storylines today. Of course, kita semua penasaran pengen lihat bagaimana performancenya Jared Shaw dan juga Abraham Damar Grahita melawan mantan timnya Prawira. Apakah Abraham gonna go for like 25 today? I cannot wait sih untuk lihat. Tapi pasti pengen lihat juga dia di Jakarta Fir dan juga sama Yuda Tinda. It's gonna be a fun battle. Kita akan of course Brand Friends nggak tahu nih bakal sempet kayaknya jaga Jared Shaw karena mereka juga temennya. I think that's gonna be fun to see. Sedangkan kalau dari Prawira kita pengen lihat bagaimana their new look. Apakah bisa stack up? Apakah bisa bersaing melawan tim Satria Muda yang lagi hot banget sih. Satria Muda lagi uh, four game winning streak sekarang ini. Jadi Coach Dave masih pengen lihat nih bagaimana kondisi timnya sekarang ini. So once again guys. Thank you so much for supporting my vlog as always. Vlog hari ini di support oleh Food Locker Indonesia. Hari ini sepatu gue juga baru di support sama mereka. Aduh, tapi sayangnya hujan sih. <laughs> tapi ini sepatunya asik keren banget sih Air Max TN. So make sure you guys support dan juga follow Food Locker Indonesia di Instagram. Dan hari ini yang beruntung akan dapat 500 ribu voucher belanja di Food Locker Indonesia. Nanti gue akan pilih secara random di comment section. Jadi pastikan kalian komen dengan nama ataupun juga handle Instagram kalian biar gampang di kontaknya. So good luck everybody. Kalau gitu guys, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, don't forget to comment, and enjoy the vlog guys. What up you? Let's go. Enak banget datang udah nggak hujan. Saya kehujanan. <laughs> good luck ya. Good luck. Oh yeah, good luck, good luck. Oh. Ah, good luck, bro. Uh, uh. Ah, here you go, Brandon. Okay, what's up, what's up man? Good luck, bro. Good luck. Good luck, good luck. See what kicks he's wearing today. I got, oh, I got, the, I got the, you know, <laughs> see Scott's on, man. You got Travis Scott? I got him on, man. Oh! In the rain, in the rain. <laughs> good, good luck, coach. I know, I got, I got new shoes too. Yes, sir. Oh I my see. god. I see, they're special too. I know. It was like high school. Yes, sir. Good luck, coach. Alright, thank you. Now, mulainya dengan ball handling, Firdan dan juga Yuda di sana. Hey, Arki is playing. My dog. My dog is playing today. My dog is playing today. Dame, what's up, man? Oh, Arki, pake D book. Wow, got the Devin Booker one. Beli di mana Arki? Beli di mana? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Di bawah dari Amerika ternyata. <laughs> Eh, sweet tau Juan Loren, sepatunya apa nih Juan Loren? Sepatunya ya, belum pernah lihat juga yang canggih juga nih Juan Loren SM sepatunya gak ada obat semua sih Ini Kobe ya, pagi kayaknya I don't know what Kobe that is, but it looks really nice though And Juan Loren, sepatunya gue gak tau juga nih apa Damn bro that Prime Wood got some heat on their feet. Jared stretching for a big game. Little step. So I'm guessing Trey Davis is not playing today. But I can make a full squad in SM. <laughs> Brandon is laughing today, man. Let's see how many points he gets. He dropped today. Brandon got so much love, bro, man. Never put any jacket. And then 
Pelatihnya SM pakai suit nih, pakai suit belum kalah nih. Kayaknya 2-0 orang kayak rekor. Oh, dia benar-benar di pukul ini.
terlalu licin guys jadi harus di stop dulu untuk safety nya para pemain jadi hari ini lagi coba di pel dan kita lihat sih apakah bisa lanjut lagi atau ini kalian lagi pada ngobrol-ngobrol aja di pinggir lapangan kita buat ini di pel reaksinya juga yang coba biar gak licin there is the situation right now di kuartal kedua
Uh, yes, uh, hello everyone. Um, today's game was, uh, for us, we called it identity game. Uh, we felt like uh, this was an opportunity for us to kind of quiet the naysayers, the people that have been doubting our season and uh, believing that we can't turn this thing around. We had a slow start this year. Um, it was one of the weirdest beginnings, pre-seasons, early seasons that we've ever had here because we win so much and we, we've lost the same amount of games that we lost the entire season last year, so people are uncomfortable with that and don't know what to think. Uh, but we just ask everyone to have faith and trust in what we're doing. Um, I think everyone saw tonight why we made the change for the three imports. Um, it's been a total energy change, energy shift. Um, it's just brought so much chemistry, um, so much leadership to this team with James being you know, a legendary European player, and Brandon, everybody knows about B, and then Hester just being a force inside. So, so proud of those three and what they brought to this team and how they totally changed this team around. And I think when they did that, it's allowed the Yudas, the Firdons, the Hans, the Indras, all these guys to elevate their games. Andrews making big plays today. Um, so I'm just so proud of this team. This was an identity win. This was a character builder for us. Um, and I'm just so happy we were able to actually win this before we have a long break. Uh, before the BCLs, we didn't want to lose or go out on a losing end and uh, we want the energy right. So, so proud of these boys, so proud of this guy over here uh, for being a guy I can trust in and always and uh, making big plays. So very proud of the boys, very happy for our fans and uh, it's a big win. Um. Tadi mungkin dari awal kita startnya agak slow, terus kita ada masalah juga di uh, floornya ada lumayan slippery, lumayan licin itu uh, bikin pace kita jadi lebih apa ya lebih berhati-hati jadi lebih bukan game yang kita lah tapi pas tadi udah second half um, uh, lapangan udah mulai membaik, lapangan udah mulai enak, um, ya kita nemuin pace kita lagi, kita nemuin tempo kita lagi dan benar tadi. Um, Aku jujur pribadi ngerasain banget perbedaan tim ini sama tim yang terakhir break kemarin uh, Karena di tim ini sekarang aku ngerasanya uh, energinya tuh udah positif banget uh, Mereka import selalu kasih advice ke kita, selalu ngomong sama kita kalau kita ada salah um, Dan ya kita harus ya tinggal perbaikin aja di salah hari ini Alhamdulillah uh, menang, ya we gotta keep going Tidak di tangan-tangan media mungkin ada? Yes um, of course, this is the uh, I mean, it's home court, but uh, it seems like the fans were really rooting for Raluya. Um, how much did that factor into the win tonight? How much uh, did that fuel the team? Right? Yeah, um, you know, I think I think it is. I think our fans. I've always said this on pretty much every interview, and it, I think it is, holds true. I think we have the best fans in the league. Um, I understand SF's tradition. I understand you know PJ's tradition and some of those teams, but I think. Uh, I felt like ever since I got here, you know, even when we, when we had Ron before, I just felt like we kind of caught the lead by storm and, and got so many people behind us and everybody was so excited about people like this guy over here and the little Rezas before and the Roms before and it was like a fun way to play and I think uh, people really liked that style and I think it kind of caught on and, and the momentum carried over year to year. I think bringing guys in like Jared and Brandon last year, uh, people to get behind and cheer for and people have personalities that we bring into this team um, So I just think you know, it's not only just the basketball But I also think it's like kind of fun to watch too like just how people act on the floor um, So I think it's a little bit of entertainment there also um, But yeah, I just think uh, we really appreciate our fans um, We really can't even thank them enough. Uh, I try to try to tell them as much as I can but they fuel us uh, they were so loud today. We heard the Hello Bandung song at the end. It was just like giving me chills. So it was a beautiful thing, and I know that it helps the boys a lot. And uh, we really thank the fans. Um, evaluasi yang pasti kita turnover si turnover masih ya cukup banyak yang banyak yang turnover turnover nggak jelas lah. Lose with the ball gitu gitu. Itu harus berdikat karena kalau saya itu dikat, aku yakin. Um, kita bakalan dapat poin lebih, kita bakalan dapat position bakalan lebih banyak itu sih tinggal sama ya awal sih kayak misi timnya udah mantap sih udah oke alright, coach Dave before before the fourth quarter, before the the last bell uh, the uh, only there is only Jared Shell that make like 20 points for yeah. September double digit point is that is that kind of your strategy? Because like everybody can uh, everybody 
will not go as at the Jared Sharp's fine. Yeah. Uh, you know, I, honestly, we actually uh, we understood that Jared's you know a force to be reckoned with. He's such a talent. I'm not surprised that he's doing well there. Jared would play well anywhere. Um, and I think they've really uh, kind of continued what we were doing with him and kind of uh, shining a spotlight on him on offense, especially. Uh, so exactly to your point, I think he was hurting us, but then we looked at it and we said nobody really else is hurting us. Um, and I, th I thought we can just continue the way that we're doing, just keep wearing them down, wearing them down, offensively moving the ball and being tough on defense. I think that was the biggest thing. It was like when Jared scored, it wasn't easy. It was rarely easy that he scored. He had to slam himself in. He had to see different bodies. And the same thing for Mike Henry and the same thing for Brom and all those guys. I think uh, we brought the fight to them. Um, I don't think, I think in the past, in our times, we played the center, there's times where they bring the fight to us and they bring the physicality. And I think they knew today that we were going to be ready for any type of uh, pushing match or anything like that. And I think that that makes it hard on teams when you understand that um, anything, you, anywhere you go or any try, where you try to get to, you're always getting hit. You're always getting bumped, you're always getting pushed. And uh, I think it was a physical game. That's a really good basketball team. Um, but we really wanted to focus on uh, keeping a tight shell, um, making every shot difficult. And we trusted and we wanted to protect our fans as much as possible, as well as score on the other side. And, uh, you know, understand that really, shooting-wise, um, they're limited. Um, and that's the honest truth. I mean, Brown is a great shooter. We all know that. Uh, but after that, you know, it's, it's you know, not, not that great. So uh, we just wanted to keep a tight shell, make everything difficult, and tire these guys out. And that's, I think that's what we did at the end of the game. Coach? Yes. Uh, you know, Satra Muda has a lot of offensive power yep. on their team. Yep. But in the fourth quarter, you held them to nine yep. points. What did you uh, emphasize to the boys uh, during that third quarter break? Yeah, I think uh, we felt there was a little bit of a momentum shift and we felt like if we started to defend a little bit harder, a little bit better, um, making plays difficult for both imports and then really forcing those locals to try to make plays, um, we wanted to use our hands, we wanted the people to see bodies. I think any time Jared, Henry, Arky, Dominic touched the wall, there was people helping, people showing, and then they were making passes and sometimes turning it over or loose with the ball. And I think uh, just our energy, our, our fight, our, everybody's moving around, everybody was on the string, connected on defense, I felt like. And uh, that was something really cool to see. And I also thought too, like we had opportunities to, on the flip side, to be honest, like expose them. And that's kind of goes back to his question over here, which was, you know, offensively, they're, they're tough, like you said, but I think on offense, you know, we tired them out. We made them guard the, you know, the entire floor. I think we moved the ball around great in the end. We had 20 assists again. This is our third game in a row with 20 assists. And I think that that affects other people on the offensive end, having to guard so hard and, and move around so much. And you kind of saw some of them get layups at the end. He gets a layup at the end. Brandon gets a wide open layup at the end with nobody contesting because I think they're tired. And I think uh, we're doing it on both sides of the ball. And it's a credit to these guys being conditioned. But, uh, you know, I respect them and I appreciate them a lot. I understand how good they are. But I just want everybody to understand how good we are. And I think, uh, you know, we haven't lost it. I think people understand that uh, for a moment we kind of had, a, you know, a little bit of a drop. But I believe we're back. Um, and I believe uh, people will have to worry about us too. Yeah, Brandon kind of showed us all why you guys brought him back today, uh, taking over in the fourth quarter. I mean, offensively, he was great. But... I think we got to talk about his defense on Mike Hendry. What, what do you think about his impact defensively today? It was tremendous. I mean, uh, Brandon is always kind of, especially last year, we kind of joked about him like, man, you don't play no defense, you know? And that was the thing. It was like, he just worried about scoring. And he, he was admit that too. Uh, but at the same time, I think after this break and after him being away, and me and him having heart to hearts, it was like, look, man, you got to start playing some defense here. And uh, you got a guy like James Giss who holds him accountable. James Giss has played with, you know, amazing players throughout his career. Been around Tim Duncan, Ginobili, yeah. everybody. Uh, Hester has been around great players, played all over the place. So these guys have no back down either. So Brandon's kind of doing some, hey man, play defense. Yeah. You know, you got to play defense. And that's our style and that's, that's kind of our identity right now. I mean, this team scored 100 points yesterday and we held them to 60 points. Um, so I'm so proud of these guys. I'm so happy for them. And I think that block at the end by Brandon, some of those defensive rebounds, um, just his activity uh, was really nice to see. And we don't need him to keep it up. Not stop, but keep it up. So that's going to be the challenge for Brandon. And let's talk about you. Yeah. A lot of questionable 
calls in this game. But you you held it together, didn't get attacked. You know? <laughs> but how were you guys able to keep composed in this game, you know? Yeah, I think uh, it's just the uh, it's just understanding like uh, who we are, what we're trying to show. I think I don't know if I kept it together all the time. Sometimes I didn't, but at the same time, you know, we're we're trying to put pressure on everybody. I think seeing me intense, seeing the boys intense, seeing the boys excited on the sideline, the referees feel that, the other team feels that. They understand how bad we want to win, how much we want to win. And I think uh, we're not only putting pressure in game, but we're putting pressure outside of the game as well. I think people feel that too. So. Uh, you know, we understand that we have to control our emotions. I think we had an attack, maybe two today. Uh, but you know what? That's how that's how basketball works. Sometimes if you don't get attacked, that might be why you lost. And uh, I really feel like uh, we imposed ourselves today, and we let everybody know we're here. Uh, we're not leaving, and you got to deal with us. And has we got to talk about has a little bit before we leave. Absolutely. Uh, the impact, and then the, I think he got one clutch basket too at the end. Just what did you see from him today? Um, man, I'll tell you what, it's, uh, it's a rough and tough and kind of dirty game with him. And sometimes you look up and you're like, is Hess even playing well? And he's got like 16 points, 12 rebounds, and one missed shot. And you're like, what the heck? You know, it doesn't feel like that sometimes. But he's such a force. Uh, he's such a physical specimen inside. And uh, not only his points, that, that clutch jumper he hit and some of those drives he made, but also his ability to offensive rebound. I think he was just a mess. I mean, for them inside, he was throwing people around. He was grabbing offensive rebounds, you know, drawing fouls, making contact. And the biggest thing with Hess is right now is like we're actually not worried about his scoring because I know he can. I mean, he was he put up 40 points in the PBA and 20 rebounds in the game, but his free throws. And he went six of eight today on his free throws. Um, he's had games where he's hit, he's missed eight or nine free throws in the game, and so. That was a big difference is that us being able to hit free throws and him especially being able to hit free throws and not fouling out with four fouls for a long time. For a long time. I mean, he was playing basically the whole of that third and fourth quarter with four fouls, him and James. So a lot of credit to Hess. Um, everybody sees Brandon scoring, but I'll tell you what, this dude can score too. Uh, just in a different way. In a different way. And so uh, we need it. We need all of everything that he brings to the table. Uh, he's such a great guy, he's such a leader, and uh, we really, really are happy to have this. So from now on, you're going to keep chewing at Yuda, right? And get mad at Yuda and bench Yuda in the third quarter, and yeah. then you just start to show up in the fourth quarter again. So <laughs> I feel like, I don't know, we have, to, we have to talk about this, but I feel like <laughs> when I get on him, he plays better. When I leave him alone, it's like, Yuda, what are you doing? Like, for example, today, he passes the ball to Hans when he's wide open for the three. And I lose my mind on the sideline, the ball comes back. It hits the Yuda, he hits the three on the recovery. Everybody goes crazy on the site. That is literally the definition of Yuda. That's who Yuda is. Some craziness and then some amazingness. You know, it's just if, if that's even a word. So uh, I'll take whatever comes with Yuda. Uh, I appreciate him Let me coach him. And uh, we're so happy to have him and we're very lucky to have him. Thank you, coach. Yes. Okay, win. Thank you. Ask, can you just talk about the win, man? I told you, I told you. We've been game planning this whole week. Not to knock nobody else. They're a great team, man, but we are who we are, man. It's a new season. It's a new team. We got a new type of swagger that's coming to Indonesia. You hear me? Just stay tuned, man. It's just the beginning, man. It's only the beginning. Only the beginning. Got a lot of work to do, but it's starting to work itself, man, as you see. Day how, are you, by day. how are you feeling in with the team, bro? Man, I'm feeling great, man. This is an awesome team, man. It's yeah. a beautiful team. I love everybody. You know, it's, it's you can see it. Like, we're starting to mold together, man. Day by day, practice by practice, game by game. And I'm loving it right now. <laughs> Everything's going good. Obviously, we just came into a hostile crowd, man, and we got the W. This says a lot about us, man. Yeah. After watching them put up 100 and something points, yeah. man, and to come in here and to hold them to what we did, to execute, finish down the stretch, knowing how great they are as a second half team, we locked in, man. We locked in. <laughs> Only nine points, bro, in the fourth quarter for them. You great. held them to nine. Nine yeah, that's points. That's great. That's yeah. great. That says a lot about us as a team. Yeah. That's all I can say. How great are you? team. I ain't knocking nothing yeah. from them. They're yeah, a great team. But we come in and we do what we got to do, man. Coach is always giving us the game plan, telling us everything on what we need to do. We come out and execute. Great results after that. That's a tall test. You got to guard a seven-footer today. How was that? <laughs> Different, man. Both of them, man. They tough, man. Like I said, they tough, man. They tough. Shout out to them dudes, man. They, they definitely tough, man. But we got the job done, man. Definitely got it done. 
We're just gonna keep it pushing, man. Got the break, but we ain't really no break. We're still gonna be working. <laughs> man, yes, in the middle of the interview, bro. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, bro. Brother, thank you, man. Appreciate you, bro. It's okay. Yo, welcome back. Oh man, what a win, man! Amazing win against an amazing team. So, just excited to be able to be back, man. I can't believe you know everything is going on. You know, God had a reason for me not to start a season, but very emotional for me to come back, be able to do my job, help my teammates, elevate this basketball club. So, I'm very excited to be back and be able to play for Wida basketball once again. Bro, you play great defense in the fort, man. Can you just talk about you picking up on defense too today? No, Jared was just giving me a little. Jared was giving me trouble, saying, "Oh, he don't play no defense." So I was like, "Come on, bro. I could be one of the best defenders in, in the IBL if I, if I want to. I'd be too tired because I had to do a lot on offense and get everybody involved and, and score the basket at the same time. But I always been a two-way player. Um, today I took on the challenge, and uh, I, I was able to get a block. I remember get a couple steals. Got nine rebounds today, so I, mean, I could definitely do a little bit of everything. You took over in the fourth offensively. What did you What did you see on the floor, man? That opening up offensively. I just feel like when I when I go downhill, I'm very hard to stop. So you know, I was passing the ball a lot today. Surprised I only got two assists. Should have had like eight or ten. You know, my teammates made some shots though. Um, we moved the ball great, but um, you know, I was just able to see the floor, use my speed, uh, use my body, be able to get to the rim, to get a couple n ones. Yes, you days coming. You can you talk about you that stepping up too. And he's a great guy, man. He, I told you, he 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 be more excited when I'm in the court with him. I heard he say some great MVP. things. Yes, I heard he say some great things about me. Uh, press conference. Um, mm. You know, we compliment each other so well. I know he's happy that I'm back. I'm happy myself to be able to be playing with him. Before I forget, before the game, you talk to almost all the locals. You know. Are you trying to build everybody's confidence before the game? Yeah, yeah, like that's what I do. You know, I'm a guy that's going to bring you up. I feel like the fans and everybody doesn't know that side of B. Francis. Just a guy that really cares a lot. I talk a lot. I don't shut up. I'm always worrying about the next person. And uh, I feel like this year I'm, I'm trying to do that a little more just to kind of people know that, you know, I'm not a bad guy to anything whatsoever. I just play basketball hard. And when I'm in there playing basketball, I just focus on winning. But other than that, man, I, I consider myself a great teammate. Just, just a great person overall that, that cares about the next person. Did you miss that MVP chant? I missed that. <laughs> I'm glad. I, it was good to hear it. Man, that fourth quarter, amazing, bro. Good game, yeah. bro. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much, Brandon. Rocky Shout out to P. you, bro. Rocky P, number one in Indonesia, baby. Out. Yes, sir. <laughs>